December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. What happened on December 7, 1941? Three types of fighters from the Japanese uh, attack fleet came from uh, above the islands to the north. Their primary target was the anchorage of the U.S. fleet here around Fort Island. So this building is a historic artifact itself. The aerological tower and the tower that controlled the airfield out here was on that second floor. And from somewhere up there, a message was sent that this is no drill, Pearl Harbor's under attack. That message went out in clear, without code, all the way as far as Alaska, warning that the Japanese had attacked. The Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum is part of the historic Pearl Harbor experience. And I believe this museum is important as a part of the story. You have the bookends, you have the Arizona Memorial, this is where the war began. You have the Missouri. This is where the war ended. The founders of this museum really took possession of the three historic buildings, the Control Tower, Building 37, and Building 79. So as soon as we took the facilities over, it was our responsibility to immediately begin stewarding and protecting these as historic treasures. The tower was looking like it could not survive another decade because it was in such deteriorated state. And so our first project was to restore the structural integrity of that building. The second project was to replace the windows and restore the aerological tower. The third project was to install a library and to fix the first floor of the operations building. And then the U-Haul project is the completion of the elevator. A friend of mine introduced me to um, Joe Schoen. And as we talked through the history, we understood the connection of the Schoen family to World War II. It's, it's an amazing personal story of determination and it seemed to be the perfect fit. So when we talked with Joe about this project and how we saw it fitting with U-Haul and this idea that people need to go to the top in order to get that panoramic view, we call it freedom's view, getting people to the top, moving people, that's the most important part of this entire exhibit. And so the U-Haul partnership is very, very important to our museum. U-Haul Company was founded by my mother and father following his discharge from the United States Navy in June 1945. Our company is one of many that were born out of the prosperity that came from peace. On behalf of my family and all of us at U-Haul, I am delighted to share our contribution to the renovation of the Ford Island Control Tower at Pearl Harbor. This will enable the public for the first time in history to view America's first aviation battlefield of World War II from above. To be able to tell the story of December 7th, 1941 from that vantage point is the most exciting aspect of this project. We're very pleased and grateful u Hall's helping us make this happen. It is our responsibility to future generations to preserve, not just for our young historians out there, but also for generations to learn what happened here, what the costs of freedom and what the costs of peace are. And this tower, being able to take this tower and not only construct it and preserve it, but use it as a platform to tell the whole story and to have a perspective on this place, this very important place the only aerial battlefield in the United States. That is the mission of this museum.